In this video, we will learn to import customers from Shopify to MailChimp. As these are two different applications, hence there is no data connection between them. So as to bring data from Shopify to MailChimp, you need to get another app. In this video, we will be using a software called Public Connect to integrate Shopify to MailChimp. It's an easy two-step process. Let me show you how it's done. First visit Public Connect. This is the website. Here, click on sign in. Sign in. Login. As you can see, I have an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own account in just two minutes. This is the dashboard. Here, bring your focus to the connect part. Then click on access now. Here, at the right corner, click on create new workflow. As you can see, a dialog box has appeared, asking you to fill in the name. I am going to give it as Shopify to MailChimp. Shopify Then click on save. When you click on save, a window will appear in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. Now in the choose app, change it to webhook to Shopify. Now as far as the choose method is concerned, we have to keep it as new customer. This basically means when a new customer creates an account in Shopify, the system will trigger. Now let's go back to Shopify. Here in the left bottom, you will find settings. Click on settings. Then come to notifications. Click on notifications. Scroll down. And click on create webhook. In the add webhook dialog box, change the default card creation to customer creation. You have to change it to customer creation. The format will remain same as JSON. Now coming to the most important part, the URL. To get URL, you have to go back to Pabli Connect. This is Pabli Connect. And this is the webhook URL you want. Just copy it. And paste it here. The webhook API version will remain same. And then click on Save Webhook. Okay, it's showing that webhook has been saved successfully. Now let's try to capture the data from Shopify to Pabli Connect. To do that, let's go back to Pabli Connect and click on Capture Webhook Response. Okay, it's showing that it's waiting for a webhook response. Basically, now we have to create a new customer, a dummy customer. So, click here, log out, and let's create a new customer. Create a new account. So basically, we are going to create a dummy customer. So its name is Tyron. Last name is Jiggles. Email is Tyron Jiggles. 23 at the rate gmail.com. Password. And click on create. I'm not a robot and submit. Okay, so the new customer has been created. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect to see whether the data has been captured or not. Yes, as you can see, the webhook has captured the data. The email is thyronjiggles 23 gmail.com. The first name, the last name, and the currency. So we have now captured the data from Shopify to Pabli Connect. Now let's sync this data to MailChimp. To do that, click on the plus button. So a new window appears. This is called as the action window. In the action window, change the choose app to MailChimp. The choose method will remain same as add new member. Then click on connect with MailChimp. The select your credentials, keep it as new credentials. Now coming to the bearer token. 
we need the API key. To do that, let's go to MailChimp. Click on the profile and then click on account. Here, click on extras. Click on API keys. Copy this. This is the API key. And paste it here. Okay, there is one more blank you have to fill. This is called as the data center. To get the data center, you just basically have to copy this. Okay, in front of admin, it's written the data center, US 17. In your case, it might be US 19, US 20. Just copy these characters and paste it here. Then click on save. As you can see, it is showing me a set of empty planks. The purpose here is to build a prototype on how the information will be parceled into MailChimp emailing list. In the audience list, it is already displaying the name of the list. Let me show you. Okay, this is the audience list. Okay, it's already showing the audience list. Now coming to the first name. We basically have to input the same name that we have got from Pabli Connect. That is Tyrone. The last name. Jingles, email. Okay. Now, uh, as far as the select the status of the subscriber is concerned, you have to keep it as subscribed. Then click on save and send test request. Okay, it has sent the test request. Let's see. Let's view our contacts. Okay, so it has arrived. The email has arrived, that is email address has arrived, that is Thyron. The first name is uh, Thyron and the last name is Jingles. So basically it means that our integration is successful. Okay, we have connected Pabli Connect to uh, Shopify and we have also connected Pabli Connect to MailChimp. So basically Shopify is now completely connected with MailChimp. Okay, so uh, let's save this. Minimize it. Save this to minimize it. So let's create one more fake customer to see whether our system is working fine or not. Let's say our first name is Rini. Last name is Simon. Rini Simon 24 at the rate gmail.com the password is random and click on create not a robot and submit okay so a new customer named Rini Simon has been created let's see in our subscribers list whether Rini is available or not refresh it The email address has arrived, Rini Simon 24 at the red gmail. The first name is Rini and the last name is Simon. So basically we have successfully integrated Shopify to MailChimp with the help of Pabli Connect. You can do a ton of integrations with the help of Pabli Connect. Thanks.